top three primary research methods for your dissertation, questionnaires, interviews, and focus groups. How to use them with maximum effectiveness. Primary research increases the value of your work and helps it to become a bigger contribution to your field of study. In this video, we will explain how to use the three most common primary research methods, questionnaires, interviews and focus groups for your dissertation. Number one, questionnaires. This method of data collection is where subjects answer a predetermined set of questions in a particular order. You may use self-administered questionnaires whereby you're not present when the subjects answer the questions. You can send online or postal questionnaires which can reach a larger amount of people. Using the internet can be a quicker way to distribute questionnaires and at a lower cost than postal questionnaires which require printing, photocopying and postage costs. Furthermore, entering data from printed questionnaires may take a long time, whereas with online questionnaires, you can export the results straight to an Excel spreadsheet. Another advantage of this method is that there is a very low chance of contamination or distortion of the answers, which make them more reliable. However, these methods tend to get a lower response rate. To combat this, you can organise the delivery and collection of your questionnaires to ensure that you receive a higher response rate. You can also conduct interviewer-administered questionnaires in which you read predetermined questions to respondents and record their responses. This can be done by telephone or face-to-face. -face. The benefit of face-to-face -face interviews is that you can ask complex questions and observe the reactions and body language of your interviewee. However, direct approaches such as these need more planning as you need to make appointments with individuals for interviewing and you need to make sure all of your questions can be asked within the time frame they give you. Number two, interviews. There are three ways to interview an individual for your research. These are structured, semi-structured and unstructured. Structured interviews, also known as standardised interviews, are formal with strict questions that cannot be deferred from as they are predetermined. Questionnaires follow this method as the interviewer asks identical questions to each respondent and records the answers. They are most commonly used in descriptive studies, which produce an accurate representation of something in order to identify a pattern. You can use closed questions from which a respondent is asked to choose from multiple choice answers. Semi-structured interviews use tailored questions depending on who you will be interviewing. This is done because you wish to extract varied information as the questions applying to one individual may not apply to another. Also, it allows you to answer open questions, which allows respondents to give answers in their own way, rather than a simple yes or no. They are commonly used in explanatory research which studies a situation or a problem in order to help us understand the relationship between variables. Unstructured interviews or non-standardised interviews are informal as the interviewer will have a general idea, theme or subject area that they want to cover rather than specific questions. This allows for an in-depth discussion with the interviewee. They are commonly used in explanatory studies which aims to approach a subject or a problem in a new way. Number three, focus groups or group interviews. The purpose of using this method is to gain information about the perceptions and beliefs of a certain group of people. For example, you can organize a meeting of a group of supermarket consumers and get them to discuss their feelings towards the quality of service they receive. Your role will be the moderator of the group who makes sure the discussion does not become biased or certain participants dominate the group too much. You must take into account the setting of your focus group and ensure that your participants are made to feel comfortable with talking to each other and speaking confidently about your chosen research subject. You must also have a plan of action when conducting focus groups in order to keep control of the discussion. This means having a list of topics that you want to be covered and questions you would like to be answered. Remember, it may be difficult to keep a large group of people in one place for very long, so you must be aware of the time limit. It's suggested that you use audio or video recording while you facilitate in order to prevent missing any details and losing data. This should only be done, of course, with the consent of the participants. When taking notes, if it's relevant to your subject, you can also record the way members of the group interact with each other. Primary research is challenging to compile, but it is an essential part of research that will help you achieve a higher standard of work.
If you are studying with collecting any primary data, why not place an order with Ivory Research, who employs the best writers in industry in a wide range of subject areas and to help you compile, use and analyse primary research for your dissertation.